welcome back to my channel. I hope this video finds you all very, very well. I am super excited to be back with my first tutorial of 2020. Oh my gosh. First off, before I continue on with this video, I did just want to wish you guys a very, very, very happy new year. I know, I know I am super late in the game. I know it's literally about to be February. I am just like so out of it, but it's better late than ever, right? If you guys also have already watched the boyfriend Q&A video, I just quickly wanted to say thank you guys so, 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 so much for all of the positive feedback. We had so much fun making that video. Obviously, if you guys have already watched it, you guys have noticed that that video is a little bit old. Obviously, I have new hair and everything. I did film that video during the first week of December, so it is a little bit late, but I decided to post it anyways. Um, if you guys follow me on my Instagram, you guys know that I was a little bit hesitant about posting the boyfriend Q&A video at first because if you guys have been following me, following me for a while, you guys know that I'm not really open about my personal life. Um, I like to keep it that way for the same reason that it is my personal life. I don't really like to show so much, but I did mention one of my New Year's resolutions was to actually open up to you guys a little bit more but anyways I did finally decide at the end of the day to post this boyfriend Q&A video because I know you guys have been really requesting it since the very beginning I know you guys have been wanting to know a little bit more about Brian and just a little bit more about our relationship so I think that's one step closer to just like you know opening up to you guys but yeah I just I'm really excited if you guys have watched the boyfriend Q&A video I really do appreciate all of you guys for all of the love that I received, Brian and I received throughout that entire video. We really do appreciate it. And we really do look forward to making more videos like those in the future. With all of that being said, I'm really excited about this tutorial, you guys, because as you guys can see, it is a very, very dramatic makeup look. And of course, I decided to wear green because it is the first tutorial of 2020, honey. I need good luck in my life. You know, so what better way to do a green makeup look to start off 2020. If you guys are interested in knowing or simply learning how I created this makeup look, then just please keep on watching. I am gonna go in with this Alamar Cosmetics palette. I got this in my BoxyCharm a really long time ago and I never got to try it. So today's gonna be the day that I go into this and create this look with it. So I am gonna be first picking up Coco Taxi, which is more of like a really nice orangey shade. And the blending brush that I am gonna be using is the Morphe M441. I'm first going to be adding this right on the outer corner. Just really, really, really building up that orange shade. And I'm also going to be dragging this outward towards my brow a little bit. You guys know I really love a cat eye effect, so that is exactly what I'm gonna be doing for this look also. So I'm just going to be dragging it outward towards the brow bone. Really just blending this all in circular motions. And I am slowly going to start dragging this towards the crease and inner crease. So now we're gonna move on to the next shade and I'm gonna be using Tropico, which is more of like a burnt orangey shade. And I'm just gonna be applying this exactly the same as I did with the other shade. I first start adding this right on the outer corner first, also into that inner crease, dragging the shade really outward towards the brow. We're gonna be doing the same thing pretty much with all the shades we're gonna be using next. And I'm just gonna be taking a clean, fluffier brush and I'm just gonna be really blending out the outer edges of the eyeshadow just so we don't have any harsh lines. All right, the next shade I'm gonna be taking is called Guatanamera, which I just found out this is a Cuban palette. Like it was inspired by the rich culture rich culture of Cuba and I think that's pretty cool. Again, I'm gonna be using the same blending brush and I'm gonna be adding this again on the outer corner first and then blending this towards the inner crease. I basically used all of the matte shadows in this palette, to be honest. I was just like, why not? Let's just use everything, you know? <laughs> And 
lastly, I'm going to be picking up Cafecito, which is the dark brown matte shade from this palette. And again, I'm going to try to mainly focus this eyeshadow on the outer corner just because I really want a cat eye smoked out effect. But I'm also going to bring it in a little bit towards the inner crease. Alright, so originally I was not going to use any black for this look. I really just wanted to stick to these colors, but I think I am going to go in with black. So any just black eyeshadow will work. I really want this look to be like kind of dramatic, you know what I mean? Obviously it is very dramatic, but I really did just want to add a little bit of black to add a little bit of drama. And I'm just gonna be grabbing this and adding it really just mainly on the outer corner you guys Okay, this one I really did just focus on the outer corner because I really don't want a lot of black um, on the crease All right, so moving on to the lid, I am going to be creating a cut crease. I'm gonna be taking my favorite base at the moment. This is the P. Louise Times Mitchell Acid Rain base in the shade Blank Canvas. And I'm also going to be taking the Acid Rain flat brush that it came with with this collection. I'm slowly just going to start creating that crease. We're gonna move on to the shade that's gonna go onto the lid, and this shade is called El Malecón. The shade is so beautiful, you guys. Oh my god. It is so stunning and super pigmented. Next, I'm going to go in with Tropico, and I'm gonna be taking this shade and really blending this towards the center of the lid, but also really blending out that outer corner and the lid shade together. I'm also going to be taking Guatanamera and I'm gonna start blending this a little bit down below that Tropico shade as well. I really want both of these two shades to kind of peek through, um, but not so much. And I am gonna start blending out Cafecito, which is the darkest brown shade from this palette. And I'm really going to work this into the outer corner. And I'm also going to blend a little bit of the black shadow as well to this look. And this is all going to really create a really nice gradient effect. All right, and for this last step, um, you definitely don't have to do liner if you don't wish to, but I am just going to be adding liner on my lash line just so the lashes can look really clean and nice when I do apply them. I'm not going to create a wing liner only because we do already have that liner effect going on with the shadows that we created. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to lashes. Also, I do apologize if you guys hear like the fan on right now. I had to turn it on because I kid you not, this house is freaking cold. Like, <sighs> I don't know if you guys can see, but my nose is turning red because of that. Like, if you could touch my nose right now, my face and my hands, they are like freezing, okay? I think our AC just went off, so like our heater is not working. But anyways, we're gonna move on to lashes and I'm gonna be using these Be Bella lashes. These are the um, in, collabor in collaboration lashes with Jenny Rivera and these are in the style Diva. Oh my God. I'm so cold right now. It's not even funny. I feel like I can't even hear. I feel like I can't even hear. Oh my God. I do have like a little tiny heater and I have it on right now because I seriously could not. I, I thought I could make it, but I really can't make it. It's so fucking cold right now. All right, so we're gonna move on to the face and I am gonna be taking this Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Primer in Hydrating. Next for foundation, I'm gonna be mixing these Frankie Rose Matte Perfection Foundations in the shade Bare and Neutral.
And to highlight and conceal the under eye area just a little bit more, I'm gonna be using this Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light Sand. And to set the entire face, I'm gonna go in with the RCMA Translucent Powder, which is also one of my favorites. Okay, I'm gonna bronze up my face a little bit right now before I move on back to the eyes. And I'm gonna be using the Bahama Mama Bronzer from The Bomb Cosmetics. Okay, next I'm gonna add a little bit more bronzer and I'm gonna be using this Too Faced Gingerbread Tan Spicy Bronzer which came in in the holiday collection last year. It's still so weird saying last year, you guys, because it was literally like a month ago. But last year, um, I don't know if they still sell this. I believe they don't, but this is what I'm gonna be using. Okay, moving on to the lower lash line, I'm gonna go in with a different palette. This is the Roaring Twenties Reckless Palette from Rude Cosmetics. This is such a beautiful palette, as you guys can see. Love the aesthetic of this, and I also am really obsessed with the color scheme in this palette. It is just so stunning, I love it. Um, but I am gonna be taking these two greens from the palette. Obviously, I'm gonna be going in with the lightest green first, and then I'm gonna go in with the darker green. I'm gonna be taking a small detailed pencil brush, and I'm gonna go in with that lighter green first. And I'm just going to start blending this all on the lower lash line. I am gonna be dragging this outward towards the bottom of that wing kind of liner that we created earlier. I just wanna smoke this down in that area. Okay, moving on to the darker green. I'm really just gonna smudge this really on the outer corner. And also dragging it outward a little bit. Okay, and lastly, I'm just gonna be adding a little bit of black. Not gonna go too crazy with it, but I do want a little bit more dramatic on the lower lash line, so I am gonna be doing um, black on the outer corner as well. Moving on to liner, I am gonna be using this one from LA Girl Cosmetics, and this is the Glide Gel Liner, and this is in the shade Very Black. And last but not least, I'm gonna go in with one more palette. I hate when I use so many palettes throughout the video because then it gets like really overwhelming for you guys. If you guys like want to get the same exact palette, you know, then it's like, fuck, I don't have that palette. But anyways, um, I'm gonna go in with the LA Girl Fierce and Wild Eyeshadow Palette, which I also love these palettes. They're so amazing. Um, but I'm gonna be taking this golden shade from the palette and I'm gonna be adding this to the inner corner. Alright guys, so we're almost finished. Now it's just time to finish off the lips and I'm gonna be taking my favorite lip liner from NYX Cosmetics. This is the shade Nutmeg. And for the lipstick that I'm gonna be using, this is the Kylie Jenner Liquid Lipstick in the shade Dolce, Dolce K. 
I don't know about you guys, but I am super obsessed with the smell of these Kylie lip kits. Like, I'm fucking obsessed with the smell. Oh my god, it smells so good. And I'm also going to be adding a tiny bit of this Dose of Colors liquid lipstick in the shade Sand. And I'm just going to add a little bit on the center here. And lastly, I'm just going to be adding a little bit of this Pixie Skin Treats Rose Glow Mist. Alright guys, that concludes this entire makeup tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I know this was such a dramatic look, but I feel like it was perfect for my first tutorial of 2020. You know what I mean? So... As always, if you guys are interested in any of the products listed throughout this entire video, they will all be listed down in the description box as well as my social media. That way you guys know what I do when I'm not on YouTube. I love you guys. And thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys soon in my next video. Bye, guys.